Okay, we're back again. This is our second painting for the summer. I'm trying to follow along with the, um, the children's tales and tales theme for the summer. So the flamingo that we've done, that we're doing in June, that's for wetlands week. And then this one is um, for the week that I believe it's sort of backyard critters, basically. So things you'd find in your backyard. I know hedgehogs aren't really um, native <laughs> to the US, but they are to the UK. We will frequently have hedgehogs in our gardens and they are actually protected. You have to, um, you're not allowed to keep them as pets, which I believe is the only way you can have them here as, as a pet. If I'm wrong, I am open to your comments. <laughs> Correct me if I am mistaken. Now this one I think is very cute and this one is super easy. Okay. With this one you are going to use a sponge. There's no drawing on this one. You take your sponge and this is how you do the background. So you're going to pretty much determine this is the area that your hedgehog is going to, going to be, okay? So all we do, we take our sponge and we use the yellow and some white, and you can use two shades of yellow. We've got sunny day and pale daffodil here so that we can have a little dark, a little light, and then to really lighten it, some snow white, okay? So you just take your dry sponge and you dip it in your paint and then you just sponge it and just sponge it all around this upper portion of where of your canvas. You don't have to wash the sponge between the colors. You just take, dip it in the next color, do a few of those, take some white, add some of those. So that's all you're doing. Just do some sponge texture on there. Then we're going to do the same around the bottom but with shades of blue and a little purple. And you can use a little white if you want to as well. But you're going to take the blue, use the, if you try and use just one end of your sponge for the upper and then the other end for the dark shades. And then you're gonna do the same thing. Do the blue around the bottom here, take some purple, Add some purple around where the underside of the hedgehog is going to be. Okay, so that's all you do. That gives you your basic background. Then we come to the hedgehog. He's kind of sitting, his face is halfway below the halfway mark on your canvas. All you do is take a small brush. Everyone is going to have one of these handy dandy caddies when they come to art class because I'm trying to make everybody self-sufficient in your own little space so that we don't have to share everything or be looking for brushes and so forth. Um, take a small brush and using navy blue, go ahead and do your eyes. They're kind of a flat across the bottom and then curved at the top. So you just do two little eyes here. Just get your basic blue. Don't worry about all the detail yet. We're just marking it. So do that. Same with the ears, where the ears will be. Okay. And then the nose. You're going to do a little triangle here with two little bits coming off the bottom for the nose. Okay. Then you're going to come in and do the outside of the nose is just the purple. And you need to have your little nostril flares there as well. Okay, so for the eyes to give the detail, all you're doing is taking white on a fine brush. 
and you're just adding just a little bit along the edge and just a little dot in the center just to give those eyes that little bit of spark to them. And then we get on to the fun part. The fun part, you're just going to take a brush, something similar to this. In your palette, you're going to have some yellow, some navy blue, and some Key West, which is kind of a greenish blue color. You're going to have, we have Lilac Mist here, and we have Grape Jam, and Cameo Pink. So you're going to have a little bit of each one. And then all you do is take your brush, dip it in your paint, and you are just doing little thin strokes all the way around, just all the way. Start up, if you start with these shades up here and round here, when you get round to the underside, it's going to be mainly the darker shades. Again, we want some shade underneath there, okay? And then around the face, excuse me, we're going to use a little white as a base coat and then we'll come in with our lighter shades, the pale pink, maybe the aqua, maybe the yellow, but very lightly and they will more or less blend in and take on that pastel hue rather than looking more like a primary color. So you do that, softer in here, darker out here. His little feet, they're just like you're basically looking at like two little squares of, of pale purple and white mixed together. And then his little claws, just these little yellow talons sticking out at the bottom. Okay. I've gone ahead and around the eyes we added a little bit of the greenish blue color just to emphasize the eyes. And then around the nose, it's all, a lot of this one is brush strokes. Your brush strokes are what's giving you the shape of the face, the shape of the hedgehog, without actually having a solid form. So around the face here, we've used some of the yellow. Just gone around it like a sunburst around the nose. Okay. And then around your edges here, if you find that it's not quite right, you can go back to your sponge and you can add a little white and you can dab around there until you're happy with it. And that's how you do him. And I think it's very effective for just really no specific shape or form. You end up with something that you know it's a hedgehog and it's been very relaxing to do. So have fun with this one. Again, send us a picture, julie at meadreads.org or brenner at meadreads.org and you may come in and find your paintings up on the screen. Have fun. <laughs>